Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. This video module is about uh, the concept of supply, or the law of supply. Uh, to economists, supply has a very special meaning. It is the assumed positive relationship between the price of the good and the quantity that producers are willing and able uh, to offer on the market. Uh, this means that as, if the price goes up, producers should be willing and able to offer a larger quantity. If the price goes down, they should be willing to offer a uh, lower uh, quantity. Supply is the functional relationship between price uh, and quantity. The quantity supplied is simply uh, uh, the amount that producers are willing to offer at any given price uh, in, the, in the market. The supply can be illustrated, uh, as was demand, uh, by a, a, a table. And here is a supply schedule that comes directly out of your textbook. Again, we're going to be talking about the markets for uh, tomatoes. We have various price quantity combinations from A to L over here on the left-hand uh, column. We have a series of prices uh, here and a series of quantities that, uh, uh, of tomatoes that uh, producers are willing to offer. At a zero price, uh, there will be a zero uh, quantity uh, offered. At a price of one dollar, then the uh, quantity offered on the market will be uh, ten bushels, price of two dollars, uh, twenty bushels, three dollars, thirty bushels, and so on up the, up the line. Uh, as the uh, price goes up, the quantity um, supplied by producers uh, goes, uh, goes up. This is what we mean uh, by uh, supply. This positive relationship that's captured in this graph can also be captured uh, in a, in a uh, graph. That is, we buy an upward sloping uh, curve, which we can label uh, the, supply, the supply curve. What this means is that at a price of P1, the quantity that producers are willing to offer is Q1. At a higher price, the quantity that producers are willing uh, to offer goes up to uh, Q2. You raise the price from P1 to P2, the quantity uh, on the market expands from Q1 to Q2. If you lower the price from P1, P2 to P1, uh, then the quantity supplied will go, will go uh, down. Now the interesting question is, is why do economists assume an upward sloping uh, supply curve? Well, uh, one explanation is that they observe it all the time. That is, when price goes up, uh, the quantity uh, made available by producers goes up. Um, but there is a more detailed, complicated answer that we will get to in a, a later chapter, having to do with the law of diminishing returns. For now, I simply uh, point out that, um, that if, in fact, you have a price of P1, quantity Q1, uh, I mean, sorry, if you, f if you have a price of P1, the quantity uh, producers will are willing to offer is Q1, and that is at the limit. Why aren't they willing to offer Q2 at price P1? Uh, they get more revenue. Price times P1 times Q1 is a smaller revenue than uh, P1 times uh, Q2. Well, it must be that uh, cost goes up by more uh, than the revenues go up. Revenues go from P1 Q1 to P1 uh, Q2, which means that Underlying the upward sloping supply curve is a presumption of increasing uh, marginal cost. That is, the cost of each additional unit uh, rises as production goes up. And we will, again, explain that in greater detail uh, later uh, in the course. Now I can simply point out that, that price is not the only consideration uh, affecting the amount that producers are willing to offer. Indeed, uh, a prime consideration for how much producers are willing to offer is, um, is the cost of production. If the cost of production uh, decreases, then you get an increase in supply. Because here again, if the cost of production is de decreasing, then producers should be willing to offer a larger quantity at any given uh, price. They should also be willing to offer any given quantity, say Q2, at a lower price. 
once the producers were willing to offer quantity Q2 at a price of P2. Now they're willing to offer that same quantity Q2 at a price uh, P1. Why? The cost of production of the good uh, has uh, uh, gone down. By the same token, the supply curve um, uh, can shift upward, reflecting an increase in the uh, cost of uh, production. So, but this would be described as a decrease in the supply uh, curve. The increase in the cost of production means that producers who were once willing to accept a price of P1 for quantity, I'm sorry, price of P2 for quantity Q2, must now have a higher price for that same quantity. Why? Because, again, their cost of production uh, has, has gone up. A decrease in supply also means that producers are willing to offer a lower quantity at any given uh, price. Uh, once at a price of P2, they were willing to offer Q2. Now at a price of P, P2, they are willing to offer as little, little as uh, Q1. Now I simply uh, point out here that you must be careful. Uh, a downward, outward uh, uh, shift in the supply curve represents an increase in supply. An upward, leftward uh, a change in the supply curve, a shift in the supply curve, represents a, uh, a decrease uh, in the supply. And I say this can be confusing because sometimes students see this upward shift in the supply curve and they think of that as an increase in supply, whereas in fact it is a decrease in supply. It's a decrease in supply primarily because the amount producers are willing to offer at any given price uh, uh, goes down. It also means uh, that they must charge a higher uh, price. In the next uh, video module, we're going to bring the two sides of the market that we have considered in, uh, in the last video and in this one uh, together. That is, we're going to combine the law of supply with the law of demand and talk about how prices are determined and how prices can change uh, with changes in uh, supply and demand. Thank you for being with me.